is OCR dead? Right. So I came across this interesting article from Sergey Filimino on Hacker News. So this is about ingesting millions of PDFs and why Gemini 2.0 changes everything. So we need to process PDFs. We need to chunk them, convert them into need machine readable chunks for rack systems, right? Now what uh, with Gemini Flash uh, 2.0, uh, with their internal testing, what they found out is that you could actually process 6,000 pages of PDF per dollar with Gemini 2.0 Flash. Right. And what they're saying is that while this model does this, it is also having near perfect o OCR accuracy. It's also cheap. Right. So here they've actually compared over here for $1. If you are using AWS Textract commercial, you could process up to 1000 PDF pages. Right. Here it is 6000 pages. So uh, with models like Gemini Flash 2.0, uh, what they are saying is that you could actually do better than OCR, right? In terms of cost as well as near perfect OCR accuracy. So what about traditional OCR systems now, right? How are they going to handle this, uh, you know, new development, right? Why would you want to go to an OCR vendor if you can get near perfect OCR accuracy with an LLM or with a, uh, a, a, gen a model, okay? So the next question is that does this come at the expense of lower accuracy. Okay. Yes, you could do 6,000 pages. Uh, does it come with the expense of lower accuracy? So what they did this, uh, so, you know, document parsing has a lot of challenges like uh, table identification, extraction, complex layouts, unconventional formatting, inconsistent data quality, right? So this makes reliable extraction difficult. So they used a subset of Redactos RD table bench, which tests model against real world challenges like poor scans, multiple languages and intricate table structures far beyond the tidy examples in typical academic benchmarks. So here is the uh, accuracy results for Gemini flash. What they're saying is that it is quite accurate, uh, near perfect. It has got an accuracy of 0.84. So what they're saying is that this compares very well uh, against say Reductos own model, which outperforms this. But when they looked into why uh, lower performing examples, they say it is because of minor structural vari uh, variations and this would not materially affect an LLM's understanding of the table. Okay. So most of Gemini's errors are superficial formatting errors rather than substantive inaccuracies. So that's the thing over here. Okay. Now what about uh, chunking? So you can extract text in the form of markdown, but how can you chunk them if, uh, effectively? Uh, so until now, LLM uh, based chunking has been prohibitively expensive, but with again with Gemini Flash 2.0, they could actually parse 100 plus million page corpus for dollars, uh, $5,000 with Gemini Flash 2.0, which is lesser than monthly bill for several vector DB hosts. So yeah, you could even imagine combining chunking with markdown extraction and based on their limited uh, testing, it seems to be effective with no impact on extraction quality. So you can use LLMs to chunk. Okay. That's what they are saying over here. But in this process, are there any drawbacks? Okay. So the drawbacks is that we, uh, they are saying is that they couldn't get bounding boxes. Okay. Because bounding boxes are essential. If you want to go back and highlight in the document, an original document, if you want to do citations, then you would require bounding boxes. Okay. So that is still an issue, but still, uh, you know, there is another article over here, which says that Gemini is now giving bounding boxes also quite well. Okay. Uh, so maybe, uh, bounding boxes also could be solved. Right. So this is about, uh, you know, how Gemini 2.0 flash is very good at OCR, even beating some existing OCR, uh, models and services. Okay. And, uh, uh, in the comments of this article, there is some interesting uh, things over here in comments when I was checking it out. So somebody says that they work in fintech and they've replaced an OCR vendor with Gemini at work for ingesting some PDFs. Processing time went some for something like 12 minutes on average to 6 seconds on average. Accuracy was 96% of the vendor and price was significantly cheaper. So this is what, uh, you know, a person who is actually deployed this in fintech uh, you know that's what he or she writes about over here and then they say that gemini developer experience was also very easy 
okay uh, you can go over these comments over here there is many interesting things about people having success with gemini flash or with, uh, with llms for ocr versus some people saying that okay if i were to send the same document every now and then again i get a different result every time possibly because of temperature variations or whatever with llms okay so i suggest that please read over the article as well as this this thing uh, what I did was like I wanted to test something um, similar. So I have a patent over here, one of my patents, uh, granted patent. So I downloaded this uh, patent and I uploaded it over here within the Google AI Studio. You can try it for free over here. I uploaded the patent document. I said that extract system diagram from this PDF and convert it into a text flow chart. So basically extract this particular figure and convert it into a text flow chart. That's what I wanted over here. And actually it is extracted that, you know, uh, components and flow as accurately as possible. If you look at this particular flow, control unit, patient feedback, and all those this stuff, you know, it's kind of put that over here, and then it is given an explanation of the flow over here. Okay, control unit. Uh, you know, basically the same system diagram is explained over here. Right? Uh, it pulled from this figure, basically a flow chart. But you have a another figure over here for this uh, system diagram also. So maybe, uh, yeah. So this is the extraction which it has done over here. So if you have flowcharts in your document and you want to convert the flowchart into some kind of an actionable decision tree, you can make use of Gemini uh, 2.0 Flash. So this is a short video on how these uh, multi-model LLMs are now uh, doing better on OCR and why Gemini 2, uh, Flash 2.0 is cost effective for doing this. So you can check these articles. I'll put it in the link of the description. And if you are someone who's working on OCR systems, this might be very interesting to you. Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.